just take off to you. Well, looky here. I'm in South Carolina with uh, Mr. Reg Rogers, a carpet cleaner in America, and Mr. Mark Sager, uh, the world's largest promoter of carpet cleaning in America. <laughs> Besides me, Mike Pete, Mikey's board. Get the 10 inch. <laughs> Get the 10 inch. So we're going to do a quick video on some uh, some suggested methods to keep your machine fit and happy and healthy and lasting a long time. So Reg, why don't you sure. take off? Okay, so what we have here is a TM4. And uh, this is your uh, most popular machine we have out there at the moment. It's quickly being taken over by the 10 inch, I think. So great a couple machine. of, uh, yeah, it is a great machine. Uh, a couple of things that uh, you want to concentrate on are uh, after every job, you do, you want to take your brushes off, have a look, make sure you've, you've got uh, a clean machine going to the next job. Uh, I think you guys, you guys blow it out with a well, hydrofoilers. Well, at, at least before it even goes and sits in the holding tray, no matter what, we'll take the hose, we'll start sucking out any hair and debris, pushing the uh, brushes backwards, at least get that out. Take it outside if it's you know you've had any urine contamination. Get it outside, wash those brushes off, take it apart, take the rods out as you need, and we will take and put a coating of WD-40 on these aluminum rods. It helps protect them also, but it also helps them slide in and out quicker and easier too. You want well, to make sure you get a little oil on this ball bearing, the mm -hmm. spring loaded too, so that doesn't corrode. Yeah, what we see a lot of is uh, some of the end caps on the market will tend to get down there, and immobilize that little ball bearing right there make it very difficult to get out clean so them up clean them up keep them clean soak your brushes get them in just some hot yeah. water soapy water sometimes we'll even throw in a little powder but soaking them you're i mean they're not going to do that after every job but, no. but once a week or mm -hmm. after a heavy real heavy job where you yep. just know it's loaded with crud and yep. caustic chemistry under there yep. all right so talk about your bearing covers and how often you should get in okay. there so start with once a week see what kind of debris you're accumulating by, behind this bearing plate. What happens is the, uh, the uh, debris and uh, hair uh, plastic from this side core will get accumulate down into this uh, behind here. And if you let it accumulate too much, it's going to push the seal open. And once you push that seal open, whatever you're cleaning with will go down into the bearing. That is a sealed bearing. And this is a sealed bearing. Uh, we I've seen stuff where the, these plates are just, they're, they're like gushing outward with, they're just malformed because of uh, the debris, debris. And or again, oxy yeah. stuff. You get, see a lot of oxy corrosion where it re-solidifies under uh -huh. these, under these points right here, and they'll just bulge outward. So you've got to keep that stuff rinsed off. Neutralize whatever you're putting down on your machine or it will cause corrosion. Again, sooner. clean it every job. You're yeah. not going to run it. We've had machines, I had machines going like nine, 10 years, and we were not, we're again, I'm the carpet cleaner that will use it in hot water extraction again where it wasn't really designed, but we're doing it anyway. You keep it cleaned up, it's going to work. And whatever you guys are doing, keep doing it. That's it's working. So what size is this little screw here? Uh, it is X head. I think it is a five and a half millimeter. That's so that's what's been coming on for the last uh, maybe a year. Okay, um, and now you're switching to these switching Allen to X, head. Yeah. X head. And what size is that? That is a two millimeter two millimeter, two millimeter hex, millimeter, uh, hex make sure that wrench is well seated in there before you start to spin yeah. it because there ain't much there there's not but it works out really good so what you want to do is, is when you when you take these off with the hex head is get like a dental pick and just pick clean it, it out. out yeah, yeah. clean it out before because it, it's gonna be some debris mm -hmm. that, that uh, catches in that hole but it makes it super easy to get these things on and off. How Wait, about anti seize on yeah, those? Yeah, you definitely want to apply anti seize to these uh, to these screws when you put them back in here. It just helps with the corrosion. We're trying to stay ahead of the corrosion. By doing that, we switched over to stainless bearings as well as stainless uh, axles, and that seems to be helping a lot. We haven't had uh, so check your your nuts and bolts around the machine. Yep. Keep your brushes clean. clean keep the Dental floss and string, and carpet backing yarn, keep all that junk out of there. Yeah, so as far as these, the, the, the bearing plates, start with once a week. If you're not accumulating a, knot, uh, a lot behind there, then stretch it out to a month. You have to gauge what you're, what you're running it's into. It's going to depend on what kind of soil you're dealing with. Exactly. How much hair you run into. The more hair you run into, the more it gets wrapped around the axle. You want to try to avoid that. Take your axles off after every job, especially ones with a lot of hair, because it will get caught around that axle and make it impossible to get off and then you start having to hammer it are the side. are the guys that are cleaning mostly tile and grout with these creating different issues than the carpet guys i would imagine um it depends on if they're using some harsh acids acids definitely will um 
going to go after stainless. It goes Everything. after stainless as well as the aluminum too, which he, we, some pitted. Reg has another tip for you. Okay, when you're starting the machine, always push the button in and then pull the handle down. What you want to avoid is pulling the handle down and then jamming that pedal down. That will, by doing it right, you'll preserve this contact point right here. Um, by jamming it, by pulling and then going like that, you'll wear that contact point out. If you ever have to replace one of these two items, always replace them together as a pair. The foot pedal and the upright, it's a 2768, I think is the part number. Um, but that's, you want to replace those two together to get that contact point nice and beefy. Again, yeah, if you do it right, you'll never have to because, again, I've had that one for nine years and that was never a weak point. And, and by doing it right, lift the machine up a little bit, especially on thicker piles. If there's a lot of weight on the machine, thick pile, it's not going to want to spin. Yeah. You're some people it. lift it up, some people cock it to the side. Yeah. Uh, especially these TM units, they're a little less powerful than our pros as far as engine uh, mm -hmm. torque. On the thicker carpets, you're going to see a little bit more strain. So a lot of guys tip it or lift up on the handle. All right. Okay, so this is a gear plate. Once a month, pop this baby off, have a look around, make sure everything's good. Take a... a, a, a I think this is a uh, four millimeter uh, Allen head. Tighten these up. Just make sure everything. Just tighten them. Tight. Okay. Yeah, just tighten them up. Make sure they're all check these. The square. What you don't want to run into is something like we saw on your your site where one of these screws comes out and gets into that gear chamber. Mm -hmm. Now our gears are a little different than uh, some of the other machines out there on the market. Um, By the way, the one that came out wasn't your machine. Correct. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, as you can see, these are plastic gears, but this is a very, very durable uh, polymer that is associated with handguns, uh, things of that nature. And um, we have a little different way of actually replacing a gear. On um, these main gears, you can typically just pop this off. Now, I know so there's no loop. Well, it's got a little there's a little bit. What is that, white lithium or yeah, something? White lithium. And show them it's sealed bearings again? Sealed bearings throughout. Yeah. Yep and super easy to change a gear. Uh, these gears are pretty robust. Rarely do you have issues with our gears um, in, com you know, in comparison to what you see on the other. Some of those ones, again, I had nine years, those little 10 inches I originally got, never a gear problem. And it, you know, finally we just wore it out from using it. Just using it so much, yeah. right? Yeah, they get uh, worn. Now this was shipping damage. Gotcha. Was that FedEx? I think it was FedEx. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what. Credit you. <laughs> Don't drop them down staircases. No, yeah, drop, yeah they, that one apparently got dropped off a dock or something. But, but, uh, so yeah. anything else you can think of is just day to day? Yeah, we've got a, they uh, also have another boom upgrade they've, there. They've added this upgrade where this here is like the little red uh, indicator. Indicator, indicator yep. So when your brushes get down that low, you need a set of new brushes. If you're wondering why it's not cleaning or buzzing over the carpet, it's because you've got no brushes left. And we got <laughs> lots and lots of brushes here. It's brush. not moving. Yep. There is a problem. <laughs> All right, guys, that's, that's about it. All right. All right, thank you.